Hey buddy, it's 54 Newstar, and this is the update to Dog Days tutorial. I don't have time right now to fully go through everything, but I'm going to put the download link down below. The reason why it took so long is that I have to I had to find a way to press in a certain way, um, which was actually right under my nose. So this is a zip format, which just links everything on your computer to the file. Another one where it copies everything into a folder, and then copies that to the actual game. Um, you'll see down below when you unzip it, but uh, basically what I've done is that I have done level 1 and level 2, and I've also done the um, awards. Now, there's two ways to do the awards. One where you have the actual um, level icon spawn the particular metal, and I actually did that real quick, and it works real good, and I'm actually going to do a tutorial and you know, probably tomorrow or next day or two like really quickly on how to do that too uh, but I found um, that if you just duplicate the metals and I actually have to put them in like a um, into a certain insert into a subfolder that I like actually can um, duplicating them so it, even though it's more items each level has its independent metals which you know for me is really good, uh, but I can I can actually see how this spawning the metal right in front is good. I just wanted an easy way without getting too technical or whatever for you guys. But I can do the other tutorial real quick um, later. So we have layer one or level one, and then we have level two. That basically they look alike. Um, so it's no big huge surprise. Um, most of the coding is actually going on in event sheet two, which is laid in layer two, uh, which is basically I had to take I had to take a chunk and then I just duplicated it and then effect <coughs> made it affect layer uh, level two. So remember when we had to do with um, set cookie cookie counter? Remember everything dealt with cookie counter. Now when I duplicated it, it made cookie counter two. So, um, a lot of stuff in, in level 2 actually is dealing with cookie counter 2. So, what I had to do, and I'm going to play this, is that when we hit play, level 1, any cookie that you collect is sending a ping straight to cookie counter 1. It keeps track of how many cookies you have. As soon as you have enough to go to level 2, it will unlock level 2. So, let's go collect cookies. And I'm actually going to skip over that cookie, and then we're going to replay the level. Uh, so I can tell you, you know, what goes on. So we have 10 cookies. We only get a silver medal. I want to get a gold, so we're going to collect all of them now. So boom, we get a gold. Now we can go into level 2. Uh, actually, we could have gone into level 2 before, but I want to get a gold star and level 1. So let's collect that. Now we have gold. Now we can go into either level. But as soon as this level hits, uh, as soon as we did it the first time and we get more, like the default you can get in each entire level is 10. Because the last cookie, the big cookie, is worth 10 dog biscuits or cookies. So that will automatically unlock the next one and then the next level. So we can actually go back in and replace our gold star. With her, with, to a silver star. Now in this one, I'm actually going to update this in a couple of days, so that uh, in the second level you actually are able to get a bronze star. So if you only get um, ten cookies, like this last one, you actually get a bronze. But since level one only has the ability to get ten or eleven, then you um, can only get gold or silver. But in level two, I'm going to modify it in a couple of days. But now, those are fully functioning level option things, and I'm actually going to be, as soon as we're done with all four levels, I'm actually going to be building a Android version of this, guys, so you have a touch option. Also, I'm going to have a go back to menu option, um, so that you can go back to menu, but it won't have really anything there, um, and maybe an options button, and then the sound control, and then I'm going to add a um, options button over here so that you can edit stuff there and when you go into oops and did I 
I believe I may have mixed off. Oh, no, I thought it was in game. Maybe I was. No idea. Um, we'll just pop it back out. Um, so that when you go, when you are in game, you also have the ability to um, edit it. So actually, that's not the menu. I'm with the menu, so we're going to run it again. So the menu, I'm not, I have an options button or an options button up here or down there saying, you know, can you change sound and all that stuff. Also, if you don't see the, this particular font, don't worry, it'll go back to the default font. I used a particular font for this game. Also, I'm going to have an options button and go back to menu button and it's going to have a, oh no, you're going to lose everything that, you know, you collected and you're going to say yes or no. So there we go. We got a gold, so hopefully guys you enjoyed it. Look down below for the um, download file, and hopefully you understand. If you have any questions, uh, sometimes my code's not perfectly clean, but it it is straightforward. There might be some redundancy, but I actually build that in to double check certain stuff. Um, you know, to check, okay, if this is unlocked, set that to this, set that to that, if it's unlocked or whatever. It's just something I'm actually going to clean once we hit to the final um, layout. And then I'm going to upload it, and then you guys can play it or whatever. And then you, you guys can download the finished you know, product. And then we'll start working on the Android version, which will only be about maybe just one or two tutorials. It'll be really quick. So hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this. Uh, it was really quick. Not, you know, f a full tutorial. But it... It covers important parts, but it's not like super important. It's just you know set opacity, um, you know to zero and all this stuff. This is basically just saying okay. He goes back in. He doesn't collect more than ten. He gets silver, or he collects all eleven. He gets a gold. That's really not um, you know a huge tutorial thing, but you know just look through it and actually like click this stuff and actually set the opacity to 100 to see what it is oh it's a silver thing boom set it back to um and there should be like three hidden under each layer and then i'm going to duplicate each layer over here and then set the little um metal icons over there but it's not a, you know a huge breakthrough but it's something you should um that many people want so that they can go to the next layer, unlock another layer, and then continue um, if they want to replay level 1 or level 2 or level 3 or level 4 they can without any huge issue. So if you guys you enjoyed this, hit the like button if you did. Um, also rewatch uh, tutorial 1, 2, or 3 if you missed something or just shoot me a link if you want a personal video I will actually upload a video and to answer a you know a specific question that you want hopefully you guys you enjoyed it and have fun building your platformer games